Hey, this is Jim Greeny, and this is the box that the Yokukina jewelry cabinet, it's a full-length uh, wall-mounted with a mirror uh, jewelry organizer, and it supposedly has a, an LED light. This is how it came. Uh, that's the back of the box or the front, however you want to look at it, but it's, it's labeled there. Uh, Amazon delivered this to, well, Amazon didn't, UPS did. They delivered it today. The only thing it had was a little ding in the box right there. Uh, the box has gone through a certain amount of uh, travel wear, but uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, there's no noises when you make it. And so this part of the video is just, uh, it's going to be a bunch of parts of this video that's going to have to be uh, uh, put together. But this one is the, uh, is its opening. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to show this to you in a way so that uh, you can know what to expect. Uh, typical utility knife, I like that. Uh, put it to the first click where you just have just a very little bit of the blade showing. We don't want to damage anything. Now, if this thing is packaged properly, um, there will be uh, protective material on the, uh, all, all around this thing. Top sides. Maybe. Uh, but I'm just opening this up so we'll, we'll be able to find out. And sure enough, it is uh, it is exceptionally well packaged. Um, this is a I, I'm guessing that's probably part of the uh, the mirror actually right there. It's probably part of the backing. But that was on top. All the corners of that are, uh, are in good shape. And of course. There's the mirror. Uh, so far, I don't see any damage on any of this. Uh, <laughs> this is TV, huh? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, so. Um, I, I used to work in a furniture store. I was in charge of their shipping and uh, repairs and all that. So all the edges of this thing are intact. The integrity of it looks excellent. I'm gonna slip it up here. Uh, all of the edges, all of the corners are in good shape. Um, this is more to the fact of not just to luck, but uh, they really package this very well. It supposedly comes all the way to China. And so uh, this is gonna be a combination how to put this thing up video as well as uh, a, a, product, a product review. So you've seen this part of it and you will eventually see the rest. Okay, this is the, uh, the second part of this little video. This is the parts box that comes in here. They have this nice little, little ribbon which they have stuck through the side of the door there so that you can get anything. Inside here, you have the keys for the lock. These pieces here are the door hangers. They give you screws and they give you wall anchors. Um, these you'll you'll drill. I'll tell you later on what size drill bit to get. It's not in the in the instructions. Uh, the reason why the screws are longer than these wall anchors is that allows the wall anchor to spread out and gain purchase against the sides of the drywall. This strip here is double stick tape, which if you choose to use these door door hangers. It allows it to be stuck to the back of the door so it doesn't swing back and forth when you open and shut the door. Uh, these little bungees here, I'm guessing those are, uh, I haven't took this open yet. Those are, those are double stick. Yeah, they're, they're double stick bumpers. They're probably for the inside of the door to replace the in, replace on the inside of the door. Now, let's see if I can get this over here so that you can uh, see this. Let's see if it would not be so uh, difficult here okay uh, this is it now right here this is a protective coating they have on here they tell you right here the keys inside the door is it's got it's got double magnets on it the door only opens to here uh, that's as far as it opens it's got plenty of rack space and we'll look at that more closely later but this allows you to see that these are magnetic locks and of course they get it it, it appears to be very well made. Uh, you've got two drawers at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it in the frame. Uh, you'll be able to see it later. 
This is a switch here. There's an LED light that fits up here. And again, uh, we'll talk about that more. This is just to let you know what's inside of this thing and how it's put together. So you'll know what's coming. Okay, what they give you are these, which are hollow wall anchors. However, if you try to mount them on this, you're gonna end up pushing them through the wall. So what I would recommend you do is use these, hollow wall anchors, butterfly, whatever, uh, however you wanna, you wanna refer to them as. You can get in here, and if you feel with your finger here, you can feel the, an impression. Take, uh, take like the screw, and you just push it through the metal wall plate like that. Until it, until it comes out. That's where it has to go. Then you push this through and then you you screw the butterfly onto it. And then once you've got your pre-drill holes, which hopefully you'll be able to see and it's in the frame, then you'll be able to get this thing mounted. This is a Yokukina jewelry cabinet mirror armoire. It's $148 as of two. This is uh, this is crystal. She is double checking it out to make sure that all my production values are going to go well. And she will now leave because she's accomplished her position after, of course, she does who knows what to herself. Um, but uh, this is the inside of the cabinet. This is $148 on Amazon as of today, which is 322, sorry, 322, uh, 2020. Uh, it's a very nice cabinet. Now, I connected this thing using the butterfly connectors here. I'm going to blacken this a little more up here. These are the LED lights. Uh, this is the switch for the LED lights right there. Uh, what is this material up here? This is for putting your rings. Uh, you, you could put it there. I could, uh, my, my wife has someplace else that she keeps most of her rings. But I can, uh, you know, demonstrate how, how this fits in there. Uh, fits in there like that. And, uh, you know, that's that's where she does it. Now, she may, she may choose to put more in there later. Uh, she hasn't fully loaded this thing yet, so that's fine. Uh, to the side here, you've got a lock, which latches down and, and locks it. You've got two magnetic attachments here, and of course they 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 attach uh, they attach here and uh, let's see and, and here and this is the latch for the lock. Uh, up here, are, are the, these are designed to put your your earrings. Uh, this is designed for bangles. And of course you see places, you see the hooks for necklaces, just like there's hook for necklaces there. And then you have one, two, three, four trays that you can put uh, various bracelets and short necklaces in, as well as two drawers. Now keep in mind, these drawers are, uh, they're, they're not very, that, that's as deep as they are, uh, but they're, they're satisfactory if you wanna put some other things, small things in there, or you know whatever, a little extra, little accoutrements that you wish to keep in there. Uh, this has really got a lot of room in it. She has yet to be able to get this thing fully loaded, but it's uh, it, it's very very nice. I've been very impressed with how uh, how this is put together. Uh, I'm I'm I, I'm certain that uh, you know we're not talking really thick wood here, but it's but it's well constructed. It's a it's a heavy mirror. Uh, you can look on the uh, on the description for the product description on the listing on Amazon, and you can basically tell you know how how heavy it is. Uh, the mirror part of this um, is, it's a high quality mirror. I didn't see any spots in it. Uh, the reflection, reflective coating on the back of the glass seems to be quite excellent. Uh, one of the neat things about this on the top is uh, up here is the, the battery storage. Uh, this is the on off switch right here. And right here is how you get, get to your batteries. AAA batteries, since they're LEDs, uh, I, mean, I, I, I could only guess you might be able to get a couple years or more out of these, um, and that's assuming how much you you have it. Uh, you have the door open. I suppose if you don't need the light, you can just switch it off right here, if you so desire. Now, when you first put the batteries in, some of you may run into a problem that I experienced. Uh, that when you first insert the batteries, you may not immediately see your lights come on when everything looks like it they should. So what I would recommend is that you take the batteries, put them in, and then you just roll the batteries with your fingers. And all that's gonna do is on the positive end, it's gonna cause friction so that you get good contact with the metal. Uh, if you wanna be a little more efficient with that, you can take an emery board and you just basically uh, rough up the positive battery contacts that are inside the box. And that would certainly do away with any, uh, any part where you're 
where it, it is not uh, coming on well. Um, I was very impressed. Uh, the thing arrived well packaged. Uh, all the instructions were good. Uh, they do give you... Um, they, they do give you... These are the overdoor hangers. I think in the first part of the video, because I just opened the box, I identified this as double stick tape. It's not. It's a hook and loop. Uh, Velcro's the brand name, but uh, same kind of idea. It's hook and loop. Uh, this is for what, if you choose to use these, uh, and, and these are the machine screws that uh, screw into the back of these, and there's actually threading uh, at, the, at the top of this cabinet, you know, the approximately here and here at the top of the cabinet in the back for you to be able to screw this into the back of the cabinet and then what you what you would do is i'd recommend that you uh, clean the back of the cabinet with something like windex it's got ammonia in it to remove waxes and dirt then uh, cut this in half so that uh, a strip of this can go on either bottom corner of this uh, you peel one side off you leave it together like this you peel one side off and secure it to the back of the jewelry box and then you do the same thing to the door that you're going to hang it on. Uh, you use Windex to clean the back of the door. And then you peel the door side of this off. And then you press it onto the door so it will be secure. So when you open and shut your door, it won't bang back and forth. Um, I chose to put it on the wall. And uh, that's where my wife wanted it. And so if you're a guy, you do what your wife wants. Because if this is all I have to do to make her happy, then doggone, I'm going to make my wife happy. Uh, so it, it's, this is a very well-made, uh, you know, for, for the cost, uh, ones that I've seen like in other big chain stores and even some other places have been at least twice as expensive as, the, as this is. This is a Chinese product. Get over the Chinese thing. Okay. Uh, they make excellent products and, and especially for the cost, $148 again, like I said, um, and, uh, I'm just very impressed. Uh, I, I'm just very happy with it. It opens and closes, uh, it, it, you know, very nice. The hinges are, are well made. Now the thing, this is as far open as it goes right there. Um, you know, you, that's it, which gives you plenty of access to everything that's there. Uh, it shuts securely. And of course you have the ability to use the lock. Uh, sometimes if the first time you may have, uh, if you have like exterminators come in, if you just want to lock it and take the key, then fine, lock it and take the key. It's just my wife and I and everybody that we have in and out of our house, we trust implicitly. Um, so I, I'm, uh, and there's my cat again. Uh, so it, it, this is an excellent cabinet. I'm going to string all these videos together. Hopefully it makes sense. That's the concept anyway. Um, I'd recommend it. I give as high, as many stars as I can give to this thing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this cabinet.